I want to talk about hypocrites who who say that the God that they worship, not only do they tell their kids they came from apes, and then they also say that they, they pray to God and this and that. But their country is so blessed and powerful because it won wars. Their God is only that great. And they don't have any reason why that. They just say, well, but our God's so powerful, we won the war. We killed people because they tried to kill us. Mine didn't fail. The one that I follow, which wrote that whole book and told people don't break these Ten Commandments and everything on the earth will be fine, but they don't do that. The, the hypocrites who sit there and, and, and say that, that God is the, that's the greatest their God can do for them is make the, the place the way it is. Yet they also say whenever their friends die that they went to heaven. Now, nobody's in heaven right now. It, it hasn't even opened yet. But when you die, time doesn't exist. But the greater thing I want to talk about is, is, is the hypocrisy of this nation and others, but mostly this one, who especially who say, well, we don't believe in God. We think that you came from an ape. Yet you teach your kids to say the national anthem and use God's name and you have it on your money, the, the beast, you have it everywhere. But what I'm saying is the main purpose of God, who didn't fail, <clears throat> was to allow sin anyway, to allow wars to happen and to allow you to believe falsely that this is the best he can do and this is your only life that you're ever going to have and that there's still a God. That's not true. You're just the earth walking around with his life in it. Really, the devil tried to kill God before time was founded for men here. His purpose is that the devil came in and tricked the dinosaurs and all the animals before we were even here. And they were they, they became part of that plant at one point or another. And they became evil and they ate meat and their teeth changed over millions of years on those day on that one day of the animal's creation. The um the dinosaurs got to it first and he knocked them out of here. They, he killed all of them before he even made men and other types of animals. Last it got to the snake which was already very, very slick and very, very cunning. The most, the most tricky animal that God had created. It even had little legs back then. You can even see them nowadays on their sides. But whenever it sinned, it became an evil, tricky thing, which tricked men and women who were created in God's image, who would live forever if they didn't sin. And so the devil suddenly was nailed to the earth and started getting wound into it. And he wanted Adam and Eve to kill each other even. He wanted death. He wanted to get free of it. And he still does, and terrorists, and, and, and people who murder and even kill themselves. That's why he has them do that. God allows it for the purpose. He has to sin or else he was never even here. He can't be judged guilty for tricking men, and neither can men be judged if, for, for taking his side. And so the whole purpose of, of this whole life is for God to wrap him into the earth until he's completely there. There's also other ones, but I won't get deep into that. And after that time, and not in space time for the thousand years, in other words, throw them in the center of the galaxy where time began, because space and time are related, and beginning and end are also. And there is where time stops and ends even. And then bringing him back out, rips him back through space time, and then sets him free, and by the time he does that, they're all, everybody gets burned up, the second death, those who were here for the thousand years in, in the outer darkness. Those who rule with Christ for the thousand years don't have to worry about this. And anyway, that's the whole purpose. Then the whole universe can crush him and he can't get out and he'll be tormented day and night forever. Day and night never end. Right now it looks like nighttime, but it's actually daytime too, depending on if you're on the other side of the earth. Everything God added to the place and changed it to be, after it's tied in knots in space-time, all these places crunch and it'll never open again. The whole universe will be found in a, in a size of a period. And it'll just keep going smaller forever. It'll never be found again. And it'll reach zero size and infinity. And the devil who did all these bad things to people is going to lake fire. My God didn't lose. The God that you're taught about lost. And this is the best life you'll ever see. And then you'll see the thousand years since you don't really know who God is and what his real plan was. And you didn't even know that Christ was almost here. And the second coming is almost here. He brings the good and the bad news like I do. Those people who didn't do what God said, those who are business people who had the mark of the beast, 666, or millionaire, 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 that's all they care about, money, money, money. Those who love money, those who worship the beast and the statue, or the false prophet who does miracles for the beast. 
and, 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 and even says, I'm healing you, and slaps people on the head. Oh, you'll be healed! You're going to Lake Fire. That, you'll, yours is the second death. During the thousand years, the sun refuses to give its light, and the moon refuses to give her light. The nation even that had her, her feet on the moon and the stars at her head at NASA. It'll be great gnashing of tongue and teak and cheek. They're going to be really in great pain. They had sat there and they're hypocrites who really worship the beast with God's name. A hip, a hip, a hip, a, it's just hypocrite to even to mention his name and in God we trust. When in your God you trust that he only gives you the power to make war with other nations and defeat them with bullets and that. But really God saved the whole planet. He came to save it and they left the truth here for you and for everyone. If everyone on the planet had it, then they wouldn't talk so much. They'd know what's going on and why bad things are even happening. But as far as men go, what bad things would happen if they all really understood what I'm telling them right now? That God hates when bad things happen. He really hates it like we do. He hates it. But it happens for His greater purpose because He already won. The new heaven and earth will not have the devil or Satan because He's here. And our pains are here and it'll vanish and all things will be made new. And if you laughed at that one part, good. It's funny. Some people make mistakes. And I'm serious, but I'm also light. I'm not what everybody thinks. So I think that the President of the United States and all those people who think they have power in other nations too should listen to me and they should go to God and worship Him now and stop worshiping the devil.